This video is an introduction to the endocrine portion of the pancreas. If you have questions afterwards, make sure you email me, contact me through my website or on Twitter. Let's first discuss where the pancreas is located. Well, you eat a meal, it's going to come down the esophagus, it's going to enter into the stomach, and then it's going to make its way out the small intestine, the du duodenum. And the pancreas is located just beneath the stomach, and the stomach overlaps it just a little bit. And in the pancreas, you're going to find these little circular areas right here. So I'm going to zoom in on one of them. And I drew a little en enlargement beforehand so you can see what it looks like down here. And this area here is called the islet. Islet meaning island, because when you look at it under a microscope, it looks like an island. The islet of some dude named Langer Hans. And this islet, or these islets, they are the endo, not exocrine, but endocrine portion of the pancreas. It's the endocrine because if some chemical is secreted through the endocrine system, how is it secreted? Into what part of the body? It's secreted into the blood. And if you look at it, is it making up the majority or the minority of the pancreas? It's making up the minority. It actually only makes up 1 to 2 percent of the pancreas. The other rest of this, the majority that you see throughout here, that's called the exo. Again, not endo, but exocrine portion of the pancreas, and that makes up about 98 to 99 percent of the pancreas. And it's exocrine because it's not secreted through the blood, it's secreted through ducts, and that's mainly used for digestion. So what is the function of the pancreas? Well, let's say it's Christmas, or maybe you don't celebrate Christmas, so, you know, I'll draw you guys something else here, uh, some other type of, I'm trying to draw it without saying here. I'm sure I'm a great artist, so you guys can figure this out. A little green, a little red, yep, that's a candy cane. And these are amazing M&Ms. So what am I trying to say that the pancreas helps to regulate mainly? I'm trying to say it helps to regulate sugar. In this case, the sugar is glucose. So let's talk about these cells and how they regulate the level of glucose in the blood. Okay, there's three cells in there. And there are more, but we're just going to focus on these. There's Greek letters for them. And this Greek letter... I think you probably already know is alpha. This one is beta, give a little longer tail. And this is delta. Let's talk about where they're located first, a little microanatomy. Well, you take the A from alpha and you take a look at these cells here. I'll just give a little color code for it. And they are located, let's say this is an A, they are located around the islet of Langerhans, around the periphery. And then look at the green colored cells, the beta cells. They're located where? They are located on the inside, and let's say they make up the bulk. Like if this was a fruit or an orange, they make up the bulk or inside. And then the delta cells are scattered throughout. So this is just a way to remember it. All right, let me tell you the hormones now. The beta cells secrete insulin, which I'm sure you're already familiar with. The alpha cells secrete glucagon. glucagon, and the delta cells secrete somatostatin. So how can you remember this? Well, think about it. The bulk is inside, right? These green cells, the bulk is on the inside. Also, you could take the A, like from alpha, and if you continue the A from alpha, you can make it a G for glucagon. That might work there. And then somatostatin, that delta kind of looks like an S. You just have to continue the tail on it. So because you're probably familiar with insulin, because maybe you are a diabetic or you know somebody who is diabetic, what does insulin do to blood glucose levels? Does it increase or decrease it? Well, think about it. Let's say somebody is diabetic. They eat a meal. What's going to happen to their blood glucose levels? It's going to go up. So then they're going to take insulin. Whether it's before or after the meal, they're going to take insulin because why? Do they want their blood glucose levels to keep going up? No. They want it to decrease. They want it to go down. So this is going to act to decrease blood glucose levels. Don't confuse 
glucose, which I wrote down here in the bottom right, with glucagon. Glucagon is the hormone, glucose is the sugar. O-S-E meaning it's a sugar. Glucagon is going to act to increase blood glucose levels. Why would you want that? Well, think about it. Let's say you're watching somebody's video for a long time. Not mine because they're not too long, but somebody else's. So you're sitting there watching and you're starving and you haven't eaten in a long time. So what's going to happen is glucagon is going to be secreted and it's going to increase the blood glucose level. So your brain specifically can have uh, energy to keep concentrating and focus. And then somatostatin, that's an interesting one that I want to talk too much about in this video. But that is going to act to decrease insulin and it's going to act to decrease glucagon. I don't want to go into any more detail in this video, so I'll continue the remainder of the subject in another video. Thank you, and if you have any questions, make sure, of course, that you email me, contact me through my website, or on Twitter. Take care.